Matt at Jim. I wanted to take a few minutes and talk with you about cleats. We're all aware of the standard Hershoff cleat. It's been around forever. It's a great product. It works great to hold the boat down. The downside is, is obviously you can catch your toes on it. And uh, many years ago, people started installing flush mount cleats. I want to explain to you some of the evolution that has taken place with flush mount cleats over the years. Our first flush mount cleat was a stainless steel body, a stainless steel handle, and stainless steel tubes. You saw me struggle just a little bit to get the stainless steel handle up because quite frankly our first flush mount cleats were a little rough. Um, that was caused because when you have stainless steel legs in line with stainless steel legs on the inside for the cleat legs, they tend to gall and jam. Uh, we tried lots of different O-rings and lubrications and things like that to uh, help the cleats feel better, but we just could never get that correct. A number of our competitors use a two-legged install for these cleats. Theirs is also stainless on stainless, and you can hear it's very loud. Uh, a lot of times these work great right out of the box, and uh, we tried this too. And, and we liked it because it was easier to install a cleat with two holes, obviously, than a cleat with four holes, or at least that's what we thought. What we found, and we see this a lot of times at the Miami Boat Show or Fort Lauderdale Boat Show, is these cleats, once installed, when you tighten up these legs, the legs actually bow just a little bit because the deck of the boat is contoured. So when you tighten up a, a two-legged cleat on a boat, the legs blow, and when the legs bow, you can barely lift up the cleat. In order to avoid that problem, uh, when we went to develop the cutting edge cleat, we, we decided to, to completely throw out everything that had been done before and start over. This is one of the first cutting edge cleats we developed. First thing you'll notice is the legs are nylon, uh, the internal or the external legs. Initially, a lot of people go, geez, how is a cleat gonna be strong enough if the legs are made out of nylon? But if you'll see here, all of the strong points uh, are the stainless steel bolt attached to the stainless steel housing. And on the inside, you'll see that the stainless steel cleat legs are all the way attached to the bolt. So we have stainless on stainless for all the strength points. What the nylon does, it gives us a very smooth cushion to ride up and down. And obviously, even if the boat is contoured in shape during the install, then because we have the install points at the outside of the cleat, it does not affect the cleat legs itself. That means every time they're installed in a high production environment or in a low production environment, the installer can just tighten up the bolts properly and the cleat functions like butter every time. We believe that this is the best cleat in the industry. We've got it in, this is the eight inch sleek version. We have four, six and eight inch sleek and wide versions. Let me explain a few other features about our cleat. First of all, our cleat is waterproof. Uh, as you can see right here, I don't know if you can see well, but there's an O-ring gasket. Uh, the O-ring gasket prohibits the water from flowing down uh, through the cleat. In addition, as a backup, we have caps that go on the bottom for applications where you might have a headliner above the uh, cleat and you want to make sure that no water, no uh, uh, drips get in there at all. The, the caps go on here and along with the O-ring, we have a du double waterproof system. That's completely different than any of the competitor's cleats or even our old cleats where water is actually designed to go down through the cleat and drain into your boat. That involves you having to plumb the cleat. You have to put a plumbing caps on it and then run that plumbing somewhere either outside the boat or down the bilge. So when we get a lot of questions about, oh, I, I like the two holes better than the four holes. Uh, when you take up the install time of having to put plumbing caps on the cleat, uh, and you take up the disadvantage uh, of a two-hole cleat getting bound together and not being able to pull up very well, we fir are firmly convinced that the four-hole cleat is the best way to go. It gives you the best, most reliable install. It gives you a waterproof install. And of course, not shown yet, we have full-size washers and full-size lock, lock nuts that go on during the install. One other quick feature that I'd like to point out competitor's cleat and frankly our old cleats you can see that's a male screw that goes up in to hold the leg uh, that was the way it was always done it's the way we did it uh, but we found that sometimes over time the male screw would actually vibrate out 
you'll see when we did this cleat, we've got a solid bolt going from the top of the cleat, welded all the way through with a nylon lock nut. It'll never vibrate off. It's just a better product. Please go to gemlux.com to learn more.